In 1993, Lim Kit Siang, during his tenure as the opposition leader, caused a nationwide stir by asserting that Bank Nagara had incurred losses of almost 13 billion ringgit in foreign exchange losses. However, he did not reveal the source of this information. Thirty years later, in the second volume of his biography titled Lim Kit Siang, Malaysian First, he finally disclosed that it was former Finance Minister Tunku Razali Hamza who provided him with the information about the losses. Lim said that it might have been more appropriate for Tunku Razali to raise this matter in Parliament, considering his in-depth knowledge of the subject. However, Tunku Razali believed that it was the role of the opposition to bring the scandal to light. Presenting a likely scenario of events, Lim said Bank Nigara incurred substantial losses when it invested billions of ringgit into buying the British pound and other European currencies in anticipation of making significant gains. But instead, these currencies crashed in 1992. Lim called for the establishment of a Royal Commission of Inquiry, insisting that both Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, who was Prime Minister, and Anwar Ibrahim, then the Finance Minister, should accept full and personal responsibility for the financial debacle. However, his several calls for an inquiry fell on deaf ears, despite his claims that the losses could amount to 30 billion ringgit. In 2017, a royal commission was finally instituted by then Prime Minister Najib Raza. In its 528-page report, the inquiry asserted that Anwar, who served as finance minister at the time, had misled the cabinet. The report also said that Mahathir had tacitly approved Anwar's misleading statements. Far from being a vindication for Lim, he was subjected to much criticism for his association with the people targeted by the inquiry.